Okay, wait. I know what you're thinking. One more time. Oh. If you could be in a relationship with that sound, would you be? Ooh. All right. It's time. I think this game just goes right into the gameplay. Yo, 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 but is that? My hours are poggers. Konami Computer Entertainment Japan presents a Hadio Kojima game. Oosh. Alaska. Guys, I have a Kojima emote, yeah? Kojima W's in the chat. Well. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's okay. Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. Okay, so Foxhound captured Shadow Moses Island. We gotta pay close they're attention. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson. Okay. And the president of Armstead, Kenneth, Kenneth Baker. Baker. Sounds simple enough. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. All right. To stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. Okay. There on, you'll have to swim. Come on, Snake. Okay, guys, so what's the story so far? Someone type it out in a sentence. Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Oh, shit. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, uh. a specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid, Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. One the man. And equipment OSP. Yes, this is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Circle? It's been a long time, Snake. Thank you, Tempest. I should have known Thank you, Nira. Behind this colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. 
You're not my oh, commander wow. anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Gene therapy? Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald, Donald Anderson. Anderson. And the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth, Kenneth Baker. Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make Snake. up your mind after you hear more about the situation. And there it is. I don't think I've ever been to this screen. And I used to run this game. Thank you, George Tell W. Cush and Nero. Facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence. Penetrate and Shadow back. Moses? Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal. What's the insertion by method? Sub. Approach. Yes. Within a few miles of it, the facility that's is a good, equipped with sonar that's detection a good line. capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man one infiltration. infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. All right, then. Guys, I'm turning my helicopter on. See? Time limit? Oh my god, this... There's a lot here. Uh, thank you, Radical Brad. Thank you. What's the time limit? 24 hours. Okay. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. We don't have a lot of time. Alright, so we need to get to Shadow Moses Island. Rescue Baker and the other dudes. Stop them from stop Fox Sound from launching the nukes. So far, so good. Oh my God, there's so much. All right, you know I've never watched any of this. Colonel, who new are you content? For? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government, and we're working so for the U.S. government. Okay. The control of this operation. The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. 
If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll uh -oh. be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. Hey, can only... Nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Was there a Star Wars reference? Support crew. We need backup from a oh. specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. Nastasha. She'll be providing you backup by codec. When you were gonna name Nero your kid analyst. Natasha, but you wanted She's to make it sound an badass. Record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Any any Nastasha's in the chat or no? Her home in Los Angeles, California. Seems like a million miles away. Nastasha. Roy Campbell, we know him. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. That's going to be me Colonel, streaming in 50 years. Liar. <clears throat> Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Meryl? Don't worry, he won't be seeing her again in my playthrough. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. Listen, My guys, the bad ending is far population. better. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War, and since then I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. My favorite Metal Gear is right. Solid 3. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. Great That's choice. Why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a colonel anymore. Just a retired old war horse. How many times is he gonna I say that? Colonel. We know, Colonel, you're retired, alright? We get it. He doesn't have to brag about it all the time. Jesus. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those. What than is gene else. therapy? You mean you've seen them naked? Oh. Make no mistake. I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. That's so cool. I want one of those. Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Would you guys take nanomachines? I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Hell no, hell yes. It's a type of stimulant. 
It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. There was what if they had to come with Fox Die? Those nanomachines will also keep your Codex batteries charged up. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Good one, Snake. Oh, shit. Wait, can you change the camera? I haven't even touched and... Or, oh, touch and... I haven't touched. The Chief of DARPA. Oops. Okay, but there's no free camera. Oh wait, it has to say free camera, doesn't it? President of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. I like exercising. Eh? Important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DAPA chief has also been injected with a mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Yo, DJ. Psycho Mad is just gonna go, I notice you're playing on the Duck Station emulator. And your console turns off. They really have the ability to launch a new Camera free! Missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Holy! Is some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL. Permissive action link. Permissive Safety action link. Remember that. Built into all Guys, write all this down. I can't remember everything. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have I'll use that against warhead, us. It must have been removed from its missile. Thank you, Brad. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. Streaming this game... By the way, I think Metal Gear is a great stream game. Don't get me wrong. But man, I have to focus so... I mean, I've already played the games, but still. I have to focus so hard to, like, follow the story completely. At least this one's not too hard to follow, but Metal Gear Solid 2... <sighs> Metal Gear Solid 2 is so confusing. Like, there's just so much going on at the same time. And, uh, if you don't... If you're not, like, glued to the screen, you're gonna be like... At the end of the game, you're just gonna be like, what the fuck? I can't even say anything that just happened. How well armed are these? I used to speed our Metal Gear actually. I know this there was game. An exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. There's Animal Crossing speedrunners, so. The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. Holy shit! I didn't expect anything less from ugh, Foxhound. That, the others are next generation Imagine that. Forces. They're not your average grunts either. Imagine chewing on nails. Oh my god. Imagine being forced to chew on nails. Crunch, crunch. And then you just watch the person you're torturing. Pet that chicken was redeemed. You're watching the person you're torturing. Imagine torturing someone. Okay, don't imagine that. I'm just going to imagine it myself. You're torturing someone for a movie. And that you put nails in their mouth. And sew their mouth closed. And you say chew. And you're, the, the, the sewing doesn't get cut until you swallow. Do I have too big imagination, or...? We're gonna pet that chicken. The, by the way, if you guys ever run into me at a con or anything, I will pet that chicken. <sighs> Thank you, Gui. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, that'd be a great form of torture. Holy shit, would your teeth shatter? Wonder if that's on Google. Would your teeth shatter if you chewed on nails? Erosion, chipping, and cracking. The grinding friction of teeth against nails can gradually wear the enamel away. Gradually? Oh, oh, no, not these nails. On metal nails. You know what's funny? Now that I've been on TikTok for so long, there's these, like... I have an actual, like, anecdotal experience from this. Um, especially on nutrition. Like, um... Finding the downsides to eating oats, per se. Oats have phallic acid, which, um, stops the absorption of nutrients for iron, magnesium, and I think one other one. I can't remember the other one. But... You have to search in a very particular way to find that information. And same with like, uh, this is a very Kojima topic, by the way. Same with, no, it's called phytic acid, I think. I'm uh, not phallic. It's just an easy joke, okay? But um, when I went to culinary school or, or a year after culinary school, my chef told me that risotto, you know risotto, it's arborio rice cooked with boiling stock as you gradually add it and it, and it ev evaporates and gets absorbed into the arborio rice as you stir and stir and stir, and then you finish it off with Parmesan or Asiago cheese, whatever else, okay? That's risotto, but risotto is actually a cooking method. Risotto isn't, like classic risotto is arborio rice, but risotto, you can make risotto without rice, is what I'm saying. You can make anything risotto. You can make a butternut squash risotto. You can make um, celery risotto. Like, it's just a cooking method. So, with that being said, I googled that when he told me, and Google said nothing about that. Nothing. You couldn't find it fucking anywhere when I was told that. But, and I told stream that many times, if you rewind the VOD years and years back. But now, if you Google risotto, it does tell you it's a cooking method. But back then, it didn't. So it's crazy, um... It's crazy to think. I, I like how we got on this topic because I searched if you could chew metal nails. Um, but it's crazy that Google doesn't have everything that you want to see. It just shows you what they want you to see. Not as not as in like, oh, Google's bad. I just mean it's funny that you... Sometimes I search for stuff and you can't find it. It is there, but you just have to word it in a very particular way or you're just going to get the basic fucking normie response. Would I ever apply for Master Chef? I mean, maybe if I was still cooking every day. You know, that that'd be like ask that'd be like seven years from now. I haven't speed ran a game for a long time, and you were to ask, like, are you gonna go for the world record for RE2 remake Claire A? Um I mean, I could, but it's a long road. You're not a master at anything unless you do it literally every single day, all day. But I did cook a lot of stuff yesterday. I should show you. You guys want to see? You know what? Before we start, wait right there. I'm going to bring you guys everything I cooked. You ready? Computer, boot up full screen. Wait, I can't see. Oh no, my, my stream deck is broken. <gasps> One second. And then we're going to play, I promise. You guys ready? I'm going to show you guys everything I cooked. Oh man, my stream deck got fucked in the update. Wait, does this do what I think it does? It does, but it doesn't say that. Oh, I need to press them all. All right, wait right there, fellas. I'm gonna show you, all right? I'm gonna bring in the food. gentlemen here's what i'm eating for the week all right you ready so this is lentils all right so i made some lentils after they were fully cooked i left a little bit of the chicken stock at the bottom i stirred in some red pepper tomato garlic salt um spinach and um uh um i can't remember i think that's that's it but why lentils 
I did not tuck my shirt in. Um, lentils are great if you're trying to, um, get on a, uh... Ah, oh, what is it? What diabetic? Uh, if you're trying to maintain your blood sugar levels, um, throughout the day, um, lentils are great for that. And the reason I put tomatoes in here, it wasn't because I liked the flavor of tomatoes, I just had tomatoes left over, but when you heat up tomatoes, I don't remember the specifics, but the nutritional value of a tomato goes up or changes when you heat it up to a different way. All right, so there's my lentils. Then I made some broccoli salad. This is cucumber, broccoli, and I even cut up the stems, red onion. So this is more of a healthy one, but the dressing is mayo, Dijon mustard, maple syrup, sriracha, salt, and pepper. That's it, I just lightly dressed it. And um, I mean, it looks like it's super dressed because when, oh, and rice wine vinegar, but when broccoli or like a heavy vegetable sits in sits in a dressing or more specifically an acidic dressing it will release all its water so like if you dress up a salad how do we go down this road guys and then there i'm not gonna finish that topic and then i made butternut squash check my instagram guys i have the recipe up i made peanut and butternut squash soup and it's so fucking good and that's the reason i put it on instagram to remember it forever I mean, it's a recipe I've used my whole life, but yeah, um, this is very, very healthy. There's a lot of healthy stuff in here. Super high in protein. All right, one sec. Stay right there, fellas. Phallic acid. Ouch. Thank you, Slim Savage. I will do a cooking stream before Let's New Year's. Encourage a cooking stream, dang it. I will, I promise. I will do a cooking stream before New Year's, guys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Penile acid. Why are they talking about tucking my shirt? I don't have my shirt tucked in. Bruh! Whoa! Hey! Don't look there. This look tucked? Does this look tucked to you? You guys wanna see my boobs? I've streamed the Dead Rising games, yeah. Yo, Big Red. Thank you, Geo. Oh, really purple stuff. I don't believe that for a second. Alright, shall we keep going? Oh, hell yeah. He copied my outfit. The Terrorist's Demand. That's going to be me one day so demanding exactly of the chat. A person's remains. Remains? That's right. Oops. That's going to be people on Twitter talking about a streamer's subathon one day. Years from now. When subs aren't good enough. When reaching 100,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers isn't good enough. What are they demanding? Human remains. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, 
cell specimens which contain the individual cell. genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists Ouch. need them. You see, these next generation special forces Tucky have been pork. strengthened through gene therapy. Gene therapy? Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do My God. Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? There it is. I'll explain this part. Gene therapy, With yeah. Gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease. Oh. And at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects. That's such crazy. As resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Who is the person of color scientist with the short curly hair? He's been on Joe Rogan. He's all about space in the future. What's his name? Dean Therapy. Nice, Albies. Hope you're doing well, sir. Neil. Neil Tyson. Yeah, he talked about something. He, in a recent interview, he talked about that. Well, we're going to have something like that in 2050. Or that, that's his prediction. That's cool, though. Gene therapy. I mean, maybe billionaires already have that. We don't, though. We don't. Uh, I've just been talking about doing this marathon for a long time. You had gin therapy this Christmas? Nice. One of the greatest yeah, exactly. soldiers ever. The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean big boss. But we need to treat That's all right. cancer. Been working gene therapy so you never get sick again. For his incredible combat skill. So far we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldiers. I want my genes to be nano machine nano machines. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. They ain't getting me. Are you going to transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? Uh-oh. Thank you, Clownal Geo. Thank you, Insignitai. Damn it, I pronounced your name right last time. Insignitai. Oops. Sorry, circle being the action button is blowing my mind here. Thank you, Legend. I'm gonna kick this cheerful sandwich. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency surge team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NVC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. 
Outer Heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Oh! Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every Bang? member of the unit conspired in this attack. I need gene, th gene therapy to keep up with the zoomers. The interesting thing. He said thing. Thank How you, Corp. How can entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The son's a big boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Holy sh... Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly. Thank you, Rusty. Deal with it behind closed doors. La, 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 la. Gene therapy. All right, Fox Sound. We're almost ready to play. This is cool. It's much easier to understand the story when you watch all this. Former unit and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're Gene every therapy. bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven. Giant and Shaman. Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid, Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Liquid Snake? Thank you, Mara, or thank you, Mara, for the six months. All right. Oh. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Scud. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? Wait, is this Metal Gear 2? I was just a kid myself back then. Or Metal Gear... Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. After. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? Liquid. Your skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? Thank you, Hackman. I don't know the details. 
but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Are you guys ready to see a lot of deaths? I love dying in Metal Gear games. I need to borrow your scissors. Oh! What are you going to do? Don't worry. Just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Oh, cool. You get a little bonus scene if you watch them all. I need scissors. 61. All right. Radar off. That's the only difference? Radar off? I don't know, guys. I've actually never played Metal Gear on hard. Ever. I always play normal because I hate stealth games. So I... Well... I have played Metal Gear Solid 3 on hard. I usually do. Oh no, isn't the only difference. Wait, 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 wait. If you get caught on hard... Um... I'm just gonna... Okay, you guys know me, I almost always play hard. But I'm gonna play normal just because I will actually frustrate people. Because I don't stealth in these games ever. You wouldn't be saying boo. Uh, I guarantee you guys would just get angry at me. Just you wait. Chat's always exciting when I play Metal Gear games. Because if you think I'm doing a lick of stealth. <laughs> I got another thing coming. I'm sorry, guys. Don't worry, I'll play the other Metal Gear games on harder difficulty. Probably. Last time we played, uh... Uh, Metal Snake Eater, I did Frank. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. Trank. Have to take the Did I say crank? To the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Small bones. I actually find this part difficult. What's the buttons? Is this grab? How do you walk?
What was that noise? What was that noise? Oh my god, it's so laggy. Wait, wait. I forget how to do this in the speedrun, but I always found it hard. Yeah! I think it's just because he takes so long to knock, maybe. Like, he actually does the action when you push the button. It's probably just an animation thing, I assume. Oh! His sneaking suit. What do I think of the soundtrack? I mean, you know. Metal Gear Solid is... Actually, better question. What do I think of Twin Snake's soundtrack? It ruined the game. But we'll see. I haven't played Twin Snake since it got released. But man, when you change the soundtrack... Imagine if Star Wars had a completely a bad soundtrack. Those movies would suck. And I feel like that's what happened with Tin Snakes. No, I'd like to play Snatcher. Yeah, I've played the Tom Clancy or Splinter Cell. Oh my god! I should have showed you guys. I got my. Just wait. Before we do this part. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. No, I have no sudden interest in Metal Gear. It's just, I've... There's a lot of... I play oh, Metal Gear in December a lot. Oh, Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I mean, I've been talking probably six months now. Every week I've said I'm going to play Metal Gear in December. But uh, yeah. Okay, that that also is the perfect segue into this conversation. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Oh, who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Hell yeah. radar Show system. Mei Ling. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. She's a fangirl. 
What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're Snake. just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. There is. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. Okay. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make that sure damn gene you don't therapy. Let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar here, as here. a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't you don't be able say. to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You never know. It's true. If you want to get in, there's the front door. I feel like this game has it's aged well. Way, but there's too Mainly much due to the voice acting. By the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Like, if you guys... Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. I mean, you, I'm sure you're all well aware. Sixers and pineapples. But the writing and the voice acting in combination together in this game is like far better than most games that come out during this time. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. At this time, yeah. Not. Not now. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright, that segue I was speaking of. I need to show you guys. Look, I got my... And you guys share yours in chat, too, if you want to. I got my Steam profile. One sec. So, Steam is doing a recap, by the way, if you use Steam in chat. Um, let me find mine. I showed it on Twitter, but uh, check this out. I was a little blown away. For all the people that are like, Fuck, why do you only play Resident Evil games? Bruh? I'm in the top 0.3% of game players. That 11% 11, 11 RE4 is legit because of stupid ass. Rising of Evil took me so long. But here, I got another even funnier picture. One sec. Ugh. 
Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'll fix that mistake. Yeah, yeah. Moobot typed that out. Check this out. So... Wait, where did it save it? So I could save it as a... For some reason? Look at this. I always explain, or I used to explain to you guys how, um... Wow, this just won't save. One sec. This is actually so funny. You know how I... There's, I took days off streaming because I'm like, I'm trying to fix RE4, I'm trying to fix RE4. And some people are probably thinking like, he's just taking a day off, he's not actually trying to fix it, he doesn't care. 231 times I booted up RE4 this year. 231. Now, you can take away probably 40 to 50 of those is actually playing the game on stream. But like 150 of those or more is just it crashing. While well, I'm trying to reinstall it and get it working again, 231 fucking times I booted up that game. Oh my god. I wish the port wasn't garbage. Holy shit. What about you guys, the chat? What's your most played game? Mine is sadly dead by daylight. Elden Ring, RimWorld, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Wow. Or what's your most played game on Steam that it gave you with the recap? Unfortunately, Apex, Elden Ring, Bioshock. Oh, nice. Destiny 2, Forza, Dead by Daylight. Oh, nice, nice. City Builders, Cyberpunk, Revelations 1, Hunt. Uh, Hunt's a great game. Total Warhammer, nice. Final Fantasy 14, Unsip. Dude, dude, I feel like if you even do one round of Civ, like civilization, it's probably gonna make it into your top five <laughs> for like a normal person. Lost Ark. I'm surprised Lost Ark made it on mine. I went hard when it first came up, but I didn't stream a single second of it. Tabletop Sim, nice. That game's awesome. Vampire Survivor, sick. Monster Hunter Rise. Ah, oh, Monster Hunter Rise is probably right behind Lost Ark for me. I can scroll through my. Sorry that I'm interrupting Metal Gear, but. Um, it's something that I did want to show the stream, and I think it's cool, and people are definitely interested in it. One second. I'll just, I'm going to scroll through mine really quick, and then no more interruptions. We'll just play through Metal Gear. Here it is. Take a gander, shall we? Thank you, Gino, for the three months. Thank you. And thank you, Yuri the Fox, the Ghost Pirate, Johnny Darko. Thank you. 74% played with keyboard and mouse, 26% with controller. You've unlocked 947 achievements. Steam average is 21. 151 games. Steam average is 5. Holy sh- Oh, you guys can't see the whole thing. One sec. Steam average, your longest streak was 39 days. Steam average is 9. Oh, wow, I didn't make the full full bar there. Sixty percent you played were new releases. 17% of games the average player on Steam played that were released. These are players released in the last 1 to 7 years. Cool. 10% I played that released. Only 10%? I feel like all I play is old games. Oh my god. Inventory management, survival horror, souls like. Lego? I'm a, what? I only played Lego Star Wars. 
MMORPG zombies. Well, that makes sense. Why Lego? I guess because I played it for so long. <laughs> Reviews written nine. Cool. That's when Wesker was released. That is Rising of Evil. Wait. Did I do Rising of Evil and Wesker at the same time? I guess so. Haven't played it yet. Wait, what? Oh, oops, I thought we were looking at Dead by Daylight. I was like, what? I didn't play in November. The world is full of maidenless cowards. You are not one of them. To you, Elden Ring was not an exercise in frustration. Oh, thank you. And then I never played it again. Did I run the game in January? I must have. We were talking about that the other day. If I... When did I run Claire A? It must have been... Yeah, six day streak. It must have been... I'm Actually, it was this year. Or what? what is this from? What did I do in this game? It had to be Claire A runs. I don't know. Lost Ark. 100% <laughs> in February. 29 sessions played, 9 day streak. And I didn't stream a single millisecond of it. That's- oh cool, look it shows my marathon days. Wow, it shows- oh my god, it shows my marathon days like... right together. That's cool. There's the Tomb Raider Marathon in April. Monster Hunter Rise. That was in June? Oh my god. There's our Final Fantasy playthrough. I love that my marathons are just there. That's so cool. Oh, October. Lol. Cool. My sister your playtime was with a controller. Longest daily streak. August 15th to September 23rd. Holy shit. Uh, thank you, Erica and Coleman. Thank you. Really, BK? If you guys are ever like, hey, Bach, what have you played X game? Look, you're getting a sneak peek. Oh, so, oh, yeah, favorite horror game this year. People kept asking me that. Now I'll actually get to check. You know what, honestly? Weirdly enough, guys, the, the one I had the most fun with, for sure. Let's see, wait, I'm not done. House was damn good. My god, I played a lot of garbage. Batman the Shadow Ward. Oh my god. You know what? I think the game I had the most fun with- What?! Security Breach was this year? I ran that game for a while. I guess the last game I ran, speed ran was Security Breach. Uh, um, I think the one I had the most fun with was uh, Phantasmagoria 2 A Puzzle of Flesh. That game just stuck with me, dude. I don't know why. It's just, 
It was so funny. That stream was so good. That stream was awesome. Well, that's cool. Thank you guys for joining me for the um the Steam list. This is fun. That's a lot of games. YouTube is going to be fucking shocked to see this. <laughs> As I think everyone that watches my YouTube thinks I only play one game. Yeah, I was the old fan. Thank you, Angry Buddhist, for the 36. Thank you. All right, let's do this. I'm going to bum rush this part and get caught and die, probably. Run! The grenade. Rat Jam. So I played Metal Gear Solid 4 for the first time. I think it was last year or the day before. And by the way, I fucking loved it. But one thing, just while we're on the Metal Gear, uh, hype here. I actually really liked the gameplay. I'm surprised a lot of people said it, said it sucked. Thank you, Space Toast. Played, yeah. All the Silkum pistols unloaded? Yeah, but there was a problem. What is it? The Thank you, BK. The door was broken. So the door is still open? Second floor where? The east side room. We better fix it before the boss finds out. But that's nothing. I heard they spotted an intruder outside. Really? Maybe we'll finally get to see some action. Yeah, but we better do something about that door. Let's put it in order to have it repaired. Thank you, Nighttime Wonder. Oh yeah, there's achievements on the PlayStation emulator version. I wish you guys can see them. Can you move them to the front of the... Can you... Can you move where they appear? Let me see if you can. Because I would like you guys to see them. Settings display. Uh, achievements. Um... Uh, I guess you can't. It's Duck Station. Night she copied my outfit. It is Duck Station, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I thought Metal Gear Solid 4 was fun. And you know what? When I played it as well, everyone was always warning me like, Oh, it's just a cutscene simulator. Dude, if you guys have never played Metal Gear Solid 4, it, there's a lot of cutscenes, yeah, a lot. But like, cutscene simulator, there was far more gameplay than I was expect. I was expecting just to sit back and watch a movie, but you, there is a lot of gameplay. Like, compare that- compare it to D2! Everything's a cutscene in that game. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what Master. are you here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Ah, uh, this Once in a while, I character. still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Oh! Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. 
Wild field mice don't have a thick layer Dude. of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow. And that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own to ensure the survival. Who asked? Yeah. Genes, right. Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, they need gene that therapy. Means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Sorry. I had a great idea for an animation for the stream, and I just had to write it down before it left my brain. Rat jammers. Um, yeah, yeah, we were memeing when I played D2 that it's like, oh, it's a Kojima game, but really, though, I forgot how often Metal Gear just shares, like, useless bits of information with you. They're Alaskan field mice. <laughs> Alright. Guys, are you ready for me to die a million times? I forgot bodies disappear in this always? I loved what they did in Metal Gear Solid 2 where you pick up the bodies and you drop them and they drop their dog tags and you can collect them. That is... Oh! That is genius in my opinion, because for kid, a kid with like ADHD like myself, when I was younger, I fucking loved that. Just like little, little fun things you can do within the game. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Look at the radar. Come on. Perfect cell. All right, I'm going to hide just in case there's some enemies around. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Just press the action button by the ladder. Wait, can I load my file? Sorry, I just thought I'd show a speedrun trick before I, uh... I can load my file, right? I just saved it. Uh-oh, wait. Guys, this used to take me like half an hour to do. I was... <laughs> I assumed I wouldn't be able to get it, so... But this isn't a speed run. I just thought I'd show a speed run trick. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now I'm afraid.
How do I load my save? It, it, wait, wait, this game doesn't auto-save, does it? It doesn't auto-save? Okay, cool. Alright, so we just saved it. We just saved it. Alright, alright. Watch this. If you guys don't know. I don't remember how to do it exactly. I think this is the right movement. Lols. Huh? Looks like I got a roommate. All you have to do is glitch up into that vent, run down and around, touch that door, and it teleports you almost near the end of the game. But I am shocked we got that glitch first try. Like, I wasn't even going to show it. I just was like, I'll try like once or twice. I'm not trying to like, oh, uh, humble brag. I've, I used to reset on that all the time because I couldn't get it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Let alone first try. Yeah, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys used to watch. That was sick though. Maybe we should get back to the game. Uh, uh, it was like it was actually my least favorite part of the game because it always took me so long. I'm like in shock. That was sick. Hey, Bez. Sorry, speedrunner. I still have to to show the strats. Immersion break. The soup. Ugh. Not a damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. He shit his pants on the toilet. Oh, is that the guy? Alaska. Anyone ever been to Alaska in chat? Yo, Dala, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you. Hey, Robocop. <sighs> that a woman? Not him. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. This is fun. I'm so glad we chose to play this. I'm actually really, really, really enjoying this. Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. A diaper chief. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? The Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Not Is yet, it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about I like how they're not staying quiet at all. Okay. Classified. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon 
with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. Black project? How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. Thank you, Scott. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? <laughs> I love all his questions. Rex. Oh my god. Name for the new Metal Gear prototype. There's just one word with a question mark. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Classic. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. Psychic this powers. Is sad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that Second had a lot of basement. electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Paint Why them. don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Genius. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. I want that. Gotcha. For like our credit cards and stuff. You just walk up. I okay. say that'll be 750, sir. Get you Thank you. Here. Thank you. And then you leave. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. 
But what about the Pinnacle? Pinnacle? Buddy? What is it? Chief, what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Hey, I am playing Metal Gear. Ooh. Oh, did I miss an Easter egg? There's like Easter eggs every room. Oh! Ooh. He's gonna get called. She's so gonna get called out. Cheap, you bastard! You bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a That's gun a at a That's a rookie's person? wiener. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. I don't have a gun! What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! I don't have a gun! I don't have a gun! Oh, I, I, now I do. So calm. Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Did it. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? You fool. You've killed him. Damn, I love I'm watching sorry, that woman sir. get me a beer. Code. Boss, I have a good idea. Thank you, Spy and Scott. Thank you.
Uh oh. Good girl. Just like that. Brr, brr. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think oh. of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Rookie eyes. Team up with the mysterious soldier and fight your way to the prison. We did it. What can I do for you, Snake? Oops. Oh yeah, they don't stop to start talking again if you skip it. Do they? Beep, 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 boop. Second floor basement. <laughs> Yeah, I want to play the uncensored version. Beep boop. Did I save it? I did. Need my cigs. Nah, I hate playing Metal Gear that way. I, I will never do that. Uh, like the big boss, or uh, the challenge runs for Metal Gear are so not for me. Cause I, I don't really like stealth games. But like this is a stealth game per se, but you never have to stealth. You can literally just run face first into danger. I forget what room it is. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming. Mm. Be careful, Snake. I think last time I played uh, Snake Eater, I got Elephant. 
if that um that gives you any indication of how I play. Like when you beat the game and it gives you an animal. I got elephant in one of them. I can't remember which one. That's all it is, Bess? Uh. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Ah! Uh. I'm here to save you. When you nut, but he keeps no, sucking. No, don't touch it. C4. Uh. Right. Touch that wire. And the C4 will blow up along with the old man. Uh-oh. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Bra. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Uh-oh. What? Hiding won't help you. I understand the point. Oh shit. I love to reload during a bath. <laughs> I love the boss music. Is that it? From the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. Ooh. What? My hand! Best character. That that exoskeleton.
that ninja. Thank you, Staccato, and thank you, Namuli. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. Jim. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has Hey, Dream. Even I did. DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Hey, yeah, Gray Fox. I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> It looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Buddy, please. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have Let to change that. Some. It's not Snake Eater. I'm stupid. Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. Oh, my I'll God. contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? On the back of the CD case. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's no, good. someone mentioned earlier about Snake Eater, and I was like, oh, I'll change it. I'll change it in two seconds, and Emmerich I completely forgot to change it. Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Spent nuclear fuel Thank you, Sigfrida. How was your stream? Even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. That's because and Kojima that, predicts the future. pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It muff. stands for material unaccounted for. 
It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold oh. War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Turn to the muff. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapon. He did. Program. Death Stranding, yeah. The other superpowers. Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Kojima is the man. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I'm sad we'll never get, get like a proper Metal Gear movie. Among the big weapons and, and I know yes. Escape from L.A. But lost their bid to and if they had good casting, they could easily make a good Metal, the Metal Gear movie. Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. No, Metal Gear is like, Metal Gear 4 is like four movies. On the military oversight committee. Metal Gear movies are tough to make good? Yeah. Let me know when there's a good one. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I stick to spear for a second. Like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main oh, disc. hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> Dark little secret. Uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. You are finished, bruh. Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Oh, nuts. I don't know, Sparrow. The hell? Yo, Kelly. The hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Yeah, bullshit. 
More health. Um... So I have to skip what she's saying, because I've been in like a cold sweat and having to use the bathroom that whole boss fight. Okay, I'll be right back really quick. Hold on tight, fellas. I'll be right back. Hey, people! Ah! Bum bum. Bum bum. Thank you, Mr. Mike Tastic. Thank you, Bixters and Alpha Chad. Thank you. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> I have a speed around this game in particular. <sighs> Level two key card. Any level tours? I haven't ran it in a long time though, like, like freaking. I used to run this game back in like, I'm going to ballpark 2017. Achievements! Um, level 2 card. Oh. 
And I, I ran the glitched version, so... Uh... Or the glitched category, so... Was this level two? I think so. I can't remember when I ran this. Uh, no, I have I haven't played Twin Snakes since I was a kid. Oh, really? Twenty sixteen? Oh, okay. Never seen Metal Gear Solid glitches. I already showed off one. I could show off another. Because it's literally right here. What can I do for But it, I might not be able to get this. I haven't done it in like years. Yeah, I played all the Tony Hawk games. Like Shakespeare said, not had all spent. What our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get too, too greedy, greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Yes, ma'am. Alright, I'll try it. I'll try the glitch. I don't even remember what to do with this glitch. I like it. See, I told you guys, I got the other one first try. Same kind of glitch in the vent. But they're very, very particular. I'm going to try like two more times, then I'm going to not try. Because it doesn't matter. This one's so particular. Fuck it, dude. But you can skip, you can run straight to the boss fight. Hell yeah, man. You can shoot! Wait, wait. How do you shoot first person? Oh, you can't. Can you not? Okay. <gasps> the best! Oh, it's possible in the PC version? Ah, I see. Where's all the guards? The mine detector.
Thank you, Jag. For the 41. Hey, Artful. Yamu Kitten. Oh shit, I gotta change that command. Suck. There you go, guys. I just don't feel like playing four. Really got to be in the mood for something like that. Even two is sort of a stretch for me. I love Metal Gear Solid 2, but it's, it's like, it's, they're all story heavy, but, um, there's so many codec calls in two. I'm going back. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like I, I Metal Gear Solid 2 is Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 are three of the and probably four are like four of the best games ever made. But like two and th that's speaking just on first playthrough, but on multiple playthroughs, um some of the codec calls in two can just be a pretty big snore for me. Same with same with three. Like three is in my top ten favorite games ever, but um, when I play it, I'm skipping the first like hour of codec calls because they're all just like tutorial. Like you get stopped every two seconds, and then your ear gets chewed off, and then you can play again for two seconds. Already filled. Is this a ration? I think it is. That's a hot take. I've ever seen one. I mean, okay, don't defend your point. Your, that comment is literally just asking to argue with everyone in chat. That is an insane bait comment. Three, for most people, is the best in the whole franchise. Not to mention the trilogy. was alerted. Where are the guards? Up here, buddy. Oh my god. Um... I mean, sorry, that's like saying everything I made, everything I say is a fact about Resident Evil. Like, I, like literally, same thing. Uh... So cold. Why 
What? What uh, floor am I supposed to be on again? Sorry, I, I so lost track of what I was doing in the game. Oh yeah, I need to call Meryl. I completely lost track of what I was doing. Oh no, what's her what's her frequency? I don't have the back of the CD case. What can I do for you? Who are you? I was yeah. really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. One from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Uh, just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? You're not even armed. I appreciate your help from before, but I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Uh oh. That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. Their beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect <laughs> from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? There is, yeah. Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But oh, what is God. this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Oh, Oxhound Colonel, you piece of shit. Special sets. forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, Bruh. you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, Again. that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. 
What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing oh. through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. That's true, Every Zira. day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day. And I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Beep, 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 boop, boop. How are you doing, Mr. Maxi? How was Christmas? Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Sick. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Uh -oh. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Thank you, healer. Snake? Oops. Thank you, Mailing. Ah. Uh. Oh my god! Help! Help!
That's Orch screaming Bach instead. Okay, there. I was way too close when I got down. I hope my legs don't get caught. Ah! Okay, this one's really slow. Uh... Oh, yeah. Bow, bow. Oh, me and- I went to my brother's house for Christmas, we watched a horrible movie. Snake, be careful. Oh. There are way more mines around there. Deep Use Throat? Mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? <laughs> The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your He's deep throat. Uh Yeah, the movie we called was the movie we watched was called um uh, Not a Creature with Stirring or something. I can't remember what it was called exactly. Uh, not a creature was stirring, maybe? It was horrible. It's Raven. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. Oh my god. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Stop razzing him. Come, let's fight. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Is... <laughs> Alright, I fucked myself, but maybe we can still kill him. I need a... I need a... Da 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 Shit. What?! Oh my god, no! For some reason I thought they'd be gone. Uh, thank you, Stampede. You're back by Claymores. Oh, god damn it, dude. I completely forgot to throw a chaff. No, no, leave me alone. Just call on to call, call me bad. No.
Stupid bastard. Ah. Oh. See how you like this. as you said in battle he is as if possessed by a demon saying that about Much me like you i would expect no less see i told you so but i will kill him so general ivan i hear he took your hand as well as your dignity watch your tongue shaman in the yeah, language shaman. of the sioux people sioux means snake it is known as an animal to be feared Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Oh, shit. He's a shaman. An extra ration. not use weapons in that area I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to Colonel what what are you talking about have you forgotten? oh that's where they keep the nuclear warheads can't you see them yeah there's lots of boxes piled up here but are they all warheads yes they're all dismantled warheads they just leave them here it's like President Baker said totally careless they're working on a limited budget they try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more Stasha. about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All Nastasha. of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Call her. Oh, okay. All right. What's the frequency again? I never think I need to save it ever, right? You just always continue. What is it, Snake? Oh, shit. No, no, no. Drop out of this. Yeah. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. 
You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Nastasha. Uh oh, wait. Oh shit! Whew. Close. Now time to actually get caught. How did he see me? There he is! How did he see me? How did he see me? There he is! I- I hate how they can see you even though they're getting choked out. All right, screw the ration. Oh shit. Get out of here. Oh, no snack. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Oh shit. Watch out. Throw. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant yeah. from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Who are you anyway? Thank you, Malinky man. Fox, for the raid. Thank you. How was your stream? Wait, 
No! Ah. What were you up to? Thank you again for the raid. Alright. Deep throat. That stampede. <laughs> it looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Who it could be? Yeah, this part's really cool. It's a ghost. Yeah, I haven't even watched Twin Snakes since I was a kid. I'm excited to play it again. I can't remember a damn thing about it. That ninja. It's that ninja. Oh, best part. Stealth camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for Classic. you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as me. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Uh-uh. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Oh, make this is such a gotchy fight. I forgot. This fight's tough. Ninja. Lag. Why is this game so quotable? Like, half the lines in this game are infamous now. No!
I can't remember the speed strap for this guy. I don't know why I'm getting slow down. It's 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 camo. Every time he has camo on, it's like bleh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Where? Here he comes. Get that camo up. I can't play. I know when he's close. Hurry up and catch. He, oh, he must be around here. I'm like cheating. Oh my god, he hits so hard. I'm gonna die. Make him feel it. I've been waiting for this pain. All right. Oh, my God. Hurt me more. Maybe I will. Oh, he loves it. Who's ever been in a relationship like this? Anyone? That's it. I remember that punch. Who's heard these exact lines in real life? Do you remember, Snake? The feel of battle. The clashing of bone and sinew. Hurt me more! Me more. I, I remember that punch, yeah. We've all been in those relationships. I killed myself to this part one time in a speed run. Is that is that the clip? I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Thank you, Fuzzy Can't be. and Dragon Lord. You were killed in Zanzibar. Hurt me more. What? Not again. I 
need to turn my cam out for a second. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? <laughs> until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Defeat the cyborg ninja. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Yeah, until are now. You an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. What if he was an otaku? Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm poor okay. Hal. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department. No, I'm not playing five. President I've actually never played five. The final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. It's too sandboxy for me. I don't want to play five. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. 
We were successful in By the way, in a joint venture if you want to get your Twitch chat active, labs, literally just say out loud Metal Gear Solid 5. And then the arguments will ensue, and you can sit back and relax. You've done your job of the day as a streamer. It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear You don't even need to say your opinion. Just say Metal Gear Solid 5, and then chat will tear itself apart. This chat's relatively tame, yeah, but do this into like a one that has a bunch of children Metal in it. Metal Gear fired only fucked. standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Metal Gear Solid 5, there it is. Could it be? Or just really get him going by Metal saying, Gears Metal Gear Solid 5 is objectively the best Metal Gear Solid game. Working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF oh, people are typing their... People are typing those out right now, Nick. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. I did. Thank you, Nate. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Thank you, Lelu. The truth is, my grandfather was part Happy of the holidays. project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. Manhattan Project. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? I think the general consensus on five is that it has Where absolute god tier gameplay and the story is disappointing. North of the but some people tower, but are heavily on there. one side of the that. Override system like, for the detonation code is there too. I'll share yeah. one the of those opinions and be dead set on that one if they were planning a launch from the without start, mentioning the other program is probably and that's finished. why the arguments and ensue they haven't called for me in a few hours they must not need me in other words they must be ready to launch Merrill's got the detonation code override keys we'll link up with her if we can't override the launch we'll have to destroy Rex I'll show you the way on that leg of yours You'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. The emulator lag machine? It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. That he knows! But I want no Jima knows out. everything, dude. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Meryl! Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? 
She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Al. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Oh yeah, King. Some companies like Nintendo would rather their all pain, their games just fucking rot and Feel die. Okay, nothing bothering you. What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon. It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. I forgot that's where the name was from. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. Oh, here we go. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Is that You're scenes right. from Police Knots? I'm I've been meaning to play Science Police Knots, but war. I just never got around Greatest to it. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Yeah, the anymore. poster. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this but I think police odds like 90 percent reading in and out of the armory and mess hall if you need ammo or rations just tell me and I'll bring them to you I'm on frequency 141.12 see you later Yeah. Yeah, and Snatcher, yeah. Thank you to Symbol for the 21 big ones. Thank you. Oh shit. It was awesome, Bez. Thank you. Suppose we go this way too. Oh, it just reduces it. I see.
Thank you, for the big tier three. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lockhats. And thank you, Octro, for the 80 months. Hope you had a good Christmas. Yeah, I mean, it's more realistic that way anyway. Um... Think. I don't know. I don't know. Or would be. Sorry, my brain isn't working. Wait. Butt cheeks squeak, yeah. Yeah, guys. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, snake. Guys, don't look. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back. And guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? Yeah. I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No oh my god. Goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. Sigma male. It's the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my <laughs> eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Oh my god. I love how dead serious he is. <laughs> oh my Snake, god. How are the negotiations going? No problem. Always with the battlefield with him. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Oh. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today. But now I understand. 
The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. Mm -hmm. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure kids... Is that FAMAS functional? Like, myself. I didn't understand what the hell this game was about. I just thought it was fun. I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Yeah. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Yeah, that's definitely a Kojima line right there. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. Nima and his The door bras. to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Okay. Master. It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. Ah. <sighs> Talk to you later, Snake. That's strange. There's no guard. Uh-oh. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make what sure you're ready, okay? Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. One second, guys. Can I move? I can. Maybe this will work? My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! <laughs> I think I do. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. One second. Snake, how oh, do you like me? 
What the? Oh, I see. What's Bruh. wrong? I think it's just oh, all. Hurry, hurry. Make love to me. Oh, snake. I want you. Who's that? You don't like girls. Oh, this is going to be laggy. It is the stealth camera that causes the lag, yeah. I don't know why. Wait, wait, wait. Will this work? I hope that's not your only trick. No. You doubt my Thank you, Platinum. Is there a simple fix for this? Does anyone know? It doesn't bother me, but. Makes it a bit funnier. I'm Psycho Mantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Alright. Now let me read your mind. No. Perhaps I should say your past. You are a very methodical man. A type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. Huh? Well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious or you are a coward. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I hope he can see my memory card. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Nope. Hmm. You have not saved often. What the hell is I have? What reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as bright as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. He doesn't know about PS5s. No. A demonstration is over. This guy's a this is a scam. Hey Dio. Wait, wait, can is Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Hey! Help! Bluff! Can't read it. Thank you, dinner.
Yeah, I love the boss music. Oh, Memke. Oh, shit. Why? Bruh. I need to figure out the button to uh, n hold in, aim, but not move. Or not shoot. I forget what it is. Ah. Uh oh. Lightly hold square. Lightly. That's so weird. Yo, Mike. Why? The guy's a great man. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. Woo. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? Oh, it's only on PS2. For Campbell's sake, or really? maybe it's because you like her. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death Bullshit. bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, I used the other Thank you, Vic Rattle, for the tear tizzle as well. I Thank you. I able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. No, I don't have... Uh, my only family here is my brother. that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. Buff. Enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. 
And that's why there is war. But you... Sounds you're about different. right. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. I am? No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? <laughs> yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. A large place. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Okay. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> Hey, Leah. <clears throat> for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. The first time? It's Buddy. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How oh old are God, you? Oh my God, Snake, come on. Death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? 
I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you know what's sad, alone. guys? Just like Mantis said. Speaking of personal experience, this is what you turn into as a speedrunner. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Nothing matters besides the one game. It's true, by the way. Like, when I took some games dead serious, that was my entire existence. Log controller under controller port one. How about no? Yo, Reed, thank you for the five. Good to sub, sir. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, it really, really wants me to. Bruh. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Thank you, Reed. Half wolf, uh -oh. half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. What the hell is this shit about? I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. He's a musher. Apparently. Snake, you stole a ton radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space <sighs> like this, right? Right. I'm Thank sorry. Thank you, Reed. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. Hope everyone had a holly jolly Christmas. Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. And those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so oh. I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Giga chat us. Oh. Help. I thought that would light my way up a little. When was the release day for Metal Gear Solid? Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Or sorry, the day. I don't know if you third of September. Were any released in December? This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Best part of the game, by the way. All right, so we have to follow her path to avoid the sea or the uh, claymores, right? This part's really hard because the controls are so finicky. So 
So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Yeah. Only a little. Oh, I'm going for the Hal ending for sure. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Merrill, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Merrill can't hold out that long. Snake. Can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Merrill, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. See, okay. when I was a kid... And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I just... I'm every time they mentioned genes, it was like funny Colonel, to me. Like, oh, ha, look, genes. Snake. Thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Wait, so is there actual extra dialogue if you shoot near Meryl? What? These are still here? You have to shoot her? Get I don't- out of here, snake. I can't put on my gun! How could you? Why? Snake! snake. 
Oh, I'm getting a call. Snake, what the hell? Are you trying to kill Meryl? You've gone insane. They told me to. Snake, run. I'm trying, but I can't open my menu. Out of pocket. Ugh. Palace, please. Oh shit. So now that I think about it, this is a huge backtrack. Nice wiener. Bum, bum. Yeah, we killed him with his wiener out. Yo, Johnny. Is it true that Elvis died taking a crap? Apparently. Oh, and out on the shitter, damn. Oh shit, I won't be able to see the the mines. They didn't respawn, right? Right? Oh my god, I Whoopsie. Dude, I hope the lasers still aren't here. They're not. What, this guy only patrols this hallway? I'm gonna be too late. Yes, G1, there it is. Yes? You got a PSG1. 
You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Oh shit. When's the remake coming? Sometime. And yeah, I mean, oh, if do you mean when am I playing Twin Snakes? That might be your actual question. Oh. Everyone's favorite Metal Gear game. Is it bad? I haven't played it since I was a kid. But... I do know they completely fucked over the soundtrack. That's what I know. I don't know, why do people hate Twin Snakes? I- I shared why I think it's- Well, like, I haven't played in a while, so I don't really know what it's like. But, like, the music in this game is... One of the best parts about the game. Um... And in Twin Snakes, it all sucks. I can't think of a single good song in that game. I'm very, very, very excited to revisit that, though. I'm so pumped to play Twin Snakes. It's like, I've played this so many times. I mean, I used to run this game. Oops. Sorry, just to let you guys know, just because I know there's a lot of people here now and stuff, and... When you ask me a question, I don't answer it. It's not that I'm ignoring you specifically. Like... The amount of times I've been asked what console I'm playing on, and am I playing the other Metal Gear games, and just that kind of thing... It's literally like once, probably a minute. So if I were to answer them all, I would just literally be saying the same thing all day. Um, but, um, all the questions you guys are answering, or asking, are answered in chat, and with a command, and people in chat have answered most of them. Just throwing it out there, by the way. Thank you, Van Corbin, for the tier two. Thank you. Uh, no, I never submitted a time. Servian. Nice, Fen. Yes, Moist, please. No, 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 no. Okay, so I know a lot of you are memeing, but yeah, I... The stream would be unbearable if I answered the same question every two seconds. It already is unbearable, Buck! No! I did not mean to switch. I, I was trying to zoom.
What? This fight's being a little silly right now. Well, am I too far forward? Or is it actually this bullshit I'm misremembering? That was so bad. Nice Uber, thank you. Look at the rats. I've never played police knots, no. Don't move. Uh oh. Oh, I'm not saving Meryl. It's hard to miss when you're this close. I want the uh, gachi base ending. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here, stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Me and Hal are making love Didn't on you Mars. Know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women. Do you want to die now, or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my special. Yo, Marcus. Play. Got it. And thank you, Officer Doofy, as well. Thank you. Huh. Oh, I've left my mark on you. Huh. I won't forget it until I kill you. You're all I think about. Take him away. Don't kill me. Don't. Is that mass or yes, liquid? Crash. I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The oh, man no. who stole my 
birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA, too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. Oh, right. We need it to correct the genome soldiers' mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. Yes, he's gonna it's call. me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in 10 hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is Mangas. dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Meryl. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Wait, what, what's wrong Finally, with Romeo? Just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Wait, why are you guys being mean to Wormy out? Did I miss something? Nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. That's fine. 
Here we go. Is Meryl okay? She's not Meryl. dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What okay, if here we go. Stay that way. You better start answering. Watch how gods here I am at mashing. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. What? Hell if I know. I that was my keyboard bumping into my no problem, thing. Then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear. Just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Alright, watch this. And mash like a fucking beast. Press the circle button. You, you win. Had enough. So you're human after all. The torture will stop as I promised. Shit, I thought it was X to cancel it, but it was select. I'll have my fun with her before I kill her. No! Meryl. Meryl. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my we can. friend. No! I was spamming the skip button, but it was the wrong one. Because guys, the huh? the the Looks Kappa like Pride ending with Otacon is the fucking the best. What a stench! Stench. They'll be fine in canon, don't in worry. To their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear? Secret advanced nuclear weapons research? Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Stark II or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. Mm. I don't know the details. I actually used to run the I game. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the president has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. 
We don't want the existence of the Genomami to go public. And that's the only reason? Yeah, it's crazy how far ahead of its time this game was. Because when you compare it to other games that came out at a similar time, it's just like... Right here next to me. Like night and day. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override I gotta play Soul Reaver. I forgot it was on PS1. Code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. Or I gotta play it again. Keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communication. What's the tower. best Soul Reaver game? Just the first one? Uh. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... Second. I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's Let's a tough hear one. It. Any family? <sighs> That's cracking. not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's patricide. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Yep. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. One side. Friends? Roy Campbell. Bullshit. You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did. In Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? 
I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? Uh-oh. I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. I'm eating my lunch. I thought this would be a good time. Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You, you need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here. Take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That Thank guard's you, got the key. You'll have to take him out. Job, Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. You have to. Jeez, he's coming back. See you later. Wait. Surprise, cockmuncher! Um, alright, I'm just gonna put my food back. I, I ate. 
Uh, be right back. Sorry, Johnny. Hey, hey, people. The boba skip? <clears throat> I had some lentils. Hmm. Lentils with tomato, red pepper, spinach. And then Oh, I'm not sure. And then It's some turkey bacon. Ugh. Can you even do this? Oh.
Um. Wait a sec. <clears throat> yeah, sleepy. What the hell am I doing? I'm trying to think. I guess I go check that door. There's a level six door up there, I think. Oh, two. And four. Fuck it! Yo, dress. Pretty sure we go back. <clears throat> this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know where to go. Derp. Where we got knocked out before. Nah, this is my first time playing. I wonder if there are any big games, big old games left that would actually be like huge banger stream. I don't think there are any. I'm thinking like, you know, oh, I watched it for Resident Evil. That, that means Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, Tomb Raider. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's any big ones left that I've never played slash streamed. One of the two or both. Fear Effect, it, uh, that's not really a big one. I mean a blind play. I've played all those games. <clears throat> what I meant by that is a game that there'd be a fuck ton of people here for. Okay, I, I don't know what the viewer count is. But if it's more than 2,000, this is a massive game, because I'm on it, which I already know it's a massive game. Let's see. All right, 2.6. So, yeah, games like, like that would, that people would, at least more people would tune in for, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Metal Gear is up there. But yeah, I don't think there's any left, honestly. If, unfortunately, feels very bad, man. But there are games I haven't streamed, like Legacy of Kane's a good one. And... Uh, Siphon Filter? In my opinion, <clears throat> has aged very badly. <laughs> Not something I'm gonna play. Yeah, sorry. Maybe a controversial take, but I've watched people play Siphon Filter recently, and it is not... It plays m far worse than this. Mm, yeah, Soul Reaver is probably the biggest one I can think of. You know what? I haven't streamed the classic Mega Man games ever, but I used to run X4. I would like to stream the Mega Man games one day. Maybe next year. Oops. Ugh. Ow, they're, they're chomping on me. Oh, wait. Yeah, Legacy of Kain. I think Legacy of Kain would be huge. <clears throat> like, people would be happy about it. But, I, but, sorry, I didn't explain what I meant very well. I mean games that, like, a majority, like, 90% of my audience would love to see. 
And Legacy of Cain is probably up there. This is the the Metal Gear series. People ask me to play this all the time. Um, Oh, Lifeline! That's a good one. I've never played that. Uh-oh. free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier, thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master. Oh, Master. What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping. But I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. Master. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. True. That road leads to madness. True. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. And besides that, for all we know, Meryl's Eat okay, up your emotions. Right? Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. <laughs> Jeans. What are you talking about, Colonel? Oh my God. This <laughs> no, conversation. <laughs> I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi. I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became Guys, adult. guys, guys. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Guys, if you've... Okay, so we were talking about a Metal Gear Solid movie earlier. There is a movie starring Jackie Chan that is similar to Metal Gear, and it's... It's one of the fucking best movies ever made. It's called Super Cop. If you guys have never watched it, well, it's the third one of a franchise. It's called Police Story. There's Police Story 1, 2, and then 3 is called Super Cop. It's so fucking good. Do yourself a favor tonight or whatever. If you're if you're in the Metal Gear mood, go watch Super Cop. It's so fucking good. Jack, it's one of Jackie Chan's best movies, if not his best movie ever. Uh, yeah, all three are great, but Super Cop's my favorite for sure. What? Uh, 
Oh, for God's sakes. Wait. Not all that for... Oh my. Well, I'd watch all three. I mean, it'll make more sense, but... Watching the first two are worth it to get to Supercop. They're all really good movies. The best thing about those movies, or one of the best parts about those movies, is all the stunts. Obviously, it's an old Jackie Chan movie. Um, the action scenes are, like, hold up so well. Because they're all, um... Like, it's not, like, 10,000 cuts per action scene. They're all just one long scene of Jackie performing the stunts. God, after- by the way, after watching Jackie Chan movies, like, if you go on, like, a Jackie Chan spree, you watch a bunch of them in a row, and then you actually watch, like, a modern action movie, oh my god. Feels like shit. Yeah, cut, 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 cut. Oh, really, Sleepy? That's an amazing one, too. Oh, no, I have no chaff grenades. Oh, wait, I don't need them right now. There was a new glitch found in this area. Some random girl streaming the game found it for first playthrough, I think. I seen a post about it online. Oh, that's Boba Skip or whatever? Yeah, yeah, recently there was a girl first playthrough. She found a glitch. Um, and it sort of blew up the game, right? Enigma raided her and she didn't react. Nice. Do it too, too early. Oops. Shit! Get up! Oh lord, they coming! Oh my god, talk about bad action scenes. Resident Evil. Oh my god. What what's the one? Uh the the newest one of the Mila Djokovic ones. 
Oh my god, the action scenes in that are horrible. Horrible. Yeah, the final tap. There's one where she's fighting on like that tank truck. And I have never seen so many cuts in like the span of five minutes ever in a movie. It's just like constant. Oh my god. It it'll make you vomit. It's. Yeah, it's so bad. I have a rope here. Now, uh, whichever you prefer. For, like, watching it in Japanese or English. Probably Japanese is better. Oh, shit. Behind the Thank you, King Cra Capra and Orange Green Skull. I'm afraid I can't let you get past you. Liquid. You're not going any farther. Father. Die. The rope. Land the boy! What's going on, sir? It's a long way down. If only I had a rope. I have a rope here. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. <laughs> this part's so funny. This next section of the bridge is so toxic. Alright, this this is... Oh wait, we get a call about how to do this. Press the action button. I think I remember how to do it. I might eat those words though. No, screw you, Colonel. Oh, it answers that anyway? Here's how to repel. Oh. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big <laughs> jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from the hind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. That's us. Yeah. Wait, I'm, can you, can you, you can't use uh, rations? This part is toxic. Well, I remember it being to it's, it's really toxic from the run. Cuz like these guys just destroy you. Maybe there's just something about the speed run. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. All right. I forgot. And there must be some strat you have to do that's toxic. Oh.
eat this! Get the weapon first. Yeah, I need to save it. It's been a while. Brr, brr. What's up, Snake? Did everyone in chat check your Steam? Uh, if you use Steam, that is. Uh, Steam did a recap of your year. It's pretty cool. We looked at it earlier. I think I still have the picture up. You guys want to see mine? Yeah, there's mine. Check it out. 156 games played, dude. No, I don't know. I think we already missed our chance, maybe. Uh, yeah, where do you find the recap? I actually don't know. In China, they say, rashness brings success to few, misfortune to many. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear depending on the circumstances. All that Dead by Daylight time is literally in the month that Wesker came out. Okay, cool, pizza. Thank you. So go to the store, then at the top counter should be under new and noteworthy. Huh? It's hard here. The game, the game lags when there's stealth camo. Believe me, I'm afraid of heights. You were watching. That's okay. Yeah, though. I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working. Yeah, that's right. You're Thank incredible. you, Griffey. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. Oh no. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. ever loved someone that's what you came to ask no i mean i i was wondering if even soldiers fall in love what are you trying to say i want to ask you do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield yeah i do i think at any time any place people can fall in love with each other snake knows if you love someone you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. 
I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't kiss, want you to kiss, either. kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. Do you think love can bloom in I chat? I go and swat a noisy fly. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't See? matter. Thank you, Wongi. I just pretend like I'm not here when I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. <laughs> the game is better like this. You've heard people met in chat and gotten married? Oh, 100,000%. Um, shit, I have no chaff grenades. Ouch! I think it's every three. Did they stay married? Yeah, who doesn't? No! I don't even know how to do this without chaff grenades. I can't aim up high enough. Well. Guess I'll take the shots. I know how to do it on my way down, though. Wait, wait. Watch. Oh! Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. High frames give me hope. Do you guys think I frames can bloom on the battlefield? Oh, now we get chaff grenades. Chaff. You met your wife in an MMO. See, that's poggers. For those, cu oh, can you meet someone in Twitch chat? Can you meet someone in? Here's how you meet someone in any context. Hello. Okay, you did it. Now, wherever it goes from there is up to you. normal I know I usually play hard and stuff but I just I didn't want to why are you calling me brother who the hell are you I'm 
your shadow. What? Ask the father that you killed. I'll send you to hell to meet him. Uh-oh. Grrrr. Ah, ha, ha. Or he, he goes Rrr, rrr, rrr. or something. No! Shit. Ah, fuck, dude. <sighs> no. No, no, no. Speed threat's so hard to do. Four bullets. Uh oh. <laughs> you coming? Bye, baby.
Thank you, Reckless and Mark. He's going down. Got him again. A back to back got him. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the <sighs> snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. No response. What can I do for you, Snake? Sausage, yeah. Don't forget to save your memories of me, too. Can't save memories, even on that system of yours. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. Okay, Snake. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the picture. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking right now? I can't save that type of thing. You have to put it into words at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about oh that. Oh my god, that no was deep. how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Oh my god. Dude, we haven't talked to Mei Ling in a while and he just drops that bomb on her. Snake is the kind of guy that, you know when you're on Discord with a bunch of people and they all slowly trickle out, and then all of a sudden it's a 1v1 with you and another person? Imagine being on a Discord call and you and Snake are the last ones left in the, in the group chat. I don't wish that upon anyone. Ah, no replenish. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> I thought it, thought it was this floor. Where are they? Okay.
Nice movement. Yeah, yeah. No rations. Bruh. This is gonna be one laggy fight. Oh wait, I think there's some over here. Or one. There's gotta be. Who needs rations? I do! Uh, they're alright, Tobro. They're, they're pretty exhausting because of all the tech skip. Whatever. Yo, Auntie, thank you for the 43, sir. Thank you. Alright, let's try this. Oh, wait, we just got a, f a full heal. I forgot. Oh, wait, I got hit, though. Nothing suspicious here. Oh yeah. Snake. Too late, There's Snake. Something I forgot to tell you before. Sorry if what? I scared anyone. There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah. So, if you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I, I love this part. You, so I went back to the lab and Yeah. The four suits were missing. <laughs> also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. Also. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How Buddy. much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. And they're just sitting there listening to the call. Get out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake. Too late, Snake. Now die. We did it. Oh! We got an achievement for it! Without shooting weapons. The, the, the door is so hard to see. There it is. Oh shit. Watch out everyone. That's a bad guy. This is awkward. Great! Great! God damn it! <sighs> oh, damn it! Uh. 
Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely Otacon, her. Otacon. Otacon. Keep it cool. You sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly uh -oh. here. <laughs> I told you. I never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf. No, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's yeah. a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Uh -oh. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Hey, finish things pretty quickly, if I may. There she is! Alright, I'm pretty sure you can use... Oh, get up! How do I even do this? Wait, this won't work. Oh, yes it will. Shit. Oh fuck, this is this is bad. One bullet. Oh shit. Does that herb come back? Or thing? Hey, I'm no sniper wolf, all right? No, she keeps... Yes. Big heel. Oh. Oh no. 
Thank you, Mr. Mithiasens, for the 47. I uh, oh, hell yeah. Wait Thank you. for this moment. Oh, no. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a guard. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A guard? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield, raised on a battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle's scope. Big Salad, yeah. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, Battle Gear 5 missing plot. I really? The brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. It's crazy. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf oh, is Kaganek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. See, that's why people do you're raid sponsors, guys. Who are you? Everyone has their price. Even for raid. Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I, I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. Hey, David. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. Man like you. You're a hero. Hey, Mattis. Please set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? 
Give it to me. Otacon was her Discord mod. I mean, you know, he fits the bill. Come on, or it fits the like. He's he's a he's a turbo nerd. Goodbye. I like how she didn't even say anything to him. I loved you. Pass me my gun. Snake. You said that love could bloom on the battlefield. I know, Snake. But I couldn't save Yeah, him. I'm a turbo nerd, yeah. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Mm. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on the oh, shit. Deck. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Yeah, I just didn't Get want the hassle. Start. Uh, head start on your new life. You don't remember the graphics being this album? Well, this is basically an HD remaster, so don't worry, they're even even worse than you don't remember. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? Ask Zero. What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. What am I fighting for? Okay. I'll be searching too. I want to play through X4 again. The cutscenes are so good. I think I'm going to play a lot of those games that I've always been meaning to play next year. After after all the RE4 hype is done. Like Banjo and Mario 64 and uh... Some Mega Man games. I knew it. That's why I, I stutter stepped in. Uh, okay, I didn't know about that one though. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere! RE4 hype will last a month like most new RE games. Um, I mean, that's not most games, that's all games if you're talking about the speedrun. Uh, there's literally only one game I could think of that lasted more than a month, and that's Elden Ring. Yeah, Village was like a month and a half. I mean, well, uh, to be completely fair, uh, RE2 Remake lasted a very long time. It's just... When people talk about a game lasting a certain amount of time, they're talking specifically about the biggest streamers that stream them. It has nothing to do with actually how long the game lasts, it, it has to do with which tens of thousands of viewer streamer stopped last, you know? But if you don't count that, if we're talking about like actual popularity on Twitch, um, RE2 Remake lasted like five months. I mean, people still run it a lot to this day, but like it's it's popularity like it was in the top three rows of Twitch for like a very long time. Um, Uh, but yeah, we'll see with RE4. Oh, shit.
And it depends what games come out, too. Cardboard box! Um, but what- more so what I meant by, like, uh, RE4 hype is, um... I will, uh... Before a new RE game comes out. I do a lot of stuff leading up to it. So for me, it's like a three-month ordeal, no matter what. Um, I'm going to actually save state just in case changing the disk doesn't work. Will I play RE2 next soon? I might do a huge RE marathon in uh, February. It was all right. Giga Chad. Oh. Uh. Shit. Remember the hitbox? The hitbox in um, for that crane is fucking massive. Probably not missing. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe? Something fucky is here. Maybe not. So yeah, guys, if you're curious, I'll be playing Metal Gear every day for the next, like, few days. Um... The only ones I'm promising are one, two, three, and s twin snakes. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be like, holy shit, this is God tier, and play Peace Walker for the first time, or Rising. Um, but we'll see. I don't want to play something I don't feel like playing, because I want it to be a genuine fun experience. There he is. <laughs> Classic sound effect. Damn. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, no, I just haven't played Twin Snakes since literally since its release date. So I'd like to revisit it and like have an opinion on it, you know. Because right now my like my opinion does not matter for that game. I don't have one. I can't remember it. Like, yeah, I beat the game as a kid, but I can't tell you one fucking thing about it. I knew it. All oh, those bastards. Fucking claymores here. Oh my god. Tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah, he's fine. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What? What did you say? The hell did- That was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Ask me after this, Obi. Yeah. Well, back then, or after there wasn't this a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But, you better what? check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange ninja. things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Um, yeah, what do I think about Metal or uh, Code Veronica remake getting cancelled? The, the, like, fan remake? Um, I mean, it was... It was bound to happen. They monetized it, so I mean. Well, they they took donations for uh for the uh, Code Veronica remake. So yeah. I have no clue, Obi. But, um, yeah. Thank you, RNG Jesus. I don't think it's an indication of, like, um... Uh, what's it called? Happening. A uh, remake. Yeah, they did shut it down. And they shut down another one, too. The RE1 remake. Remake thing. It was the one I played, yeah.
Welcome oh, here we go. Zach. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Bruh. Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the end. What are you going on about? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. Oh! <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. Yeah, Leon. Many this game is timeless. I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Oh my. Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is Who another. Who plays Vulcan in the movie? Seven. The Rock. It is called the Ear Pool. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. He's like the exact same color and the form is different, he's, but the he's spirit ripped. is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Right here, bro. Just as the boss said, it is my existence, which is no longer needed in this world. Got him. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Snake, take this security card. Take this key card. And we'll open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? Why? 
I love the killing. That was not the Dharma chief. Uh-oh. was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Of course. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. Down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the angel of death. The angel of death? Monitor the kingdoms of the dead. Infamous. Butcher. Same, J-Hart. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk yeah, on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Thank you, Chris, and graphics. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're leaving. Yahoo! Achievement hunt. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about it's Naomi? It's the emulator version. Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. Uh-oh. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. Oh! What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything Busted. to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Ooh.
Oh shit. I forgot there was more. Thank you for Garek for the prime gaming. Thank you. Thank you, Ghost Trick. Zoom. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Ah, uh, this is such a good Where game. Are you now? right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well. I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me oh. pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Yeah, one thing I love about this particular Metal Gear, and not, not that length is a bad thing, but... I like that this is like a complete package of a video game that's also timeless like you mentioned before but it doesn't overstay its welcome at all and even for a casual player probably because i can see like playing through metal gear solid 2 for example someone might get like halfway through and just be so confused that they can't take any more of it but this game is just linear enough with a very understandable story at, at face value if, if you don't know the franchise you're getting into uh, but it's just a nice Shortish game. And why I say that now is because we're almost at the end and we've been doing it for six hours, so. Snake, it's me again. But I am How's it going? like going relatively uh, fast. Not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Yeah, and I already know the game, yeah. I am, yeah, the reason I was streaming earlier, I had a doctor's appointment a few days ago and um, I just stayed up for it. So I pulled an all-nighter and it ruined my schedule. I shouldn't say ruined, I would- I prefer this schedule. Uh, my normal sk- uh, uh. I don't really have a normal sky. I just stream often and at random parts of the day. <laughs> ah. Like, what I would like to be my normal schedule is like, you know, from. Like, if I started my stream like three or four hours ago until like eight hours, you know? That's what I would like to do, but it's hard for me to stay on that schedule. Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. 
Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You uh, mean it won't uh, show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make you changed. any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think mm -hmm. the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have this. replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Thank you, Monster Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Whoa, 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 let's not say things we can't take back, Stock. I better kill him. Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in my Really? Did they cut a lot of stuff out of Twin Snakes? I know they lost their bid. To I thought it was mostly the same. Jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit. I mean, longer. if you if what a couple of you are saying that oh yeah it is like RE3 remake, so so like the so Psycho Mantis isn't it or or which which one of them did they cut? Is Raven out of the game? And I guess maybe you don't come to this part of the game or is the tower not in it or what did they? What was the major? Major few things they cut because if you guys say nothing, then you're fucking way off. Oh, I love this is so silly. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch anytime. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernobyl? Hey, I did too, nutty chick. No, there's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Oh, Gulukovich would eh? really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. 
but a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new Metal Gear's the best franchise to get a Twitch to chat going. Us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. Yes. The president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? <laughs> that money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Our last of us is definitely Dye. worse. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either, perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. Mm. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to oh, dig no. in here. We can still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? Thank you, Nutty. Hey, Thank you, Kurzma. Nice to see we you. We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. I'm <gasps> not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Oh. Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief of the Oh my god, I forgot that they could just see him sitting Snake there. know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. The oh, legendary solid snake. Can stop Metal Gear my now. ass. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. Mm. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. 
But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. This is actually a really cool so idea. this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. Honestly, if RE4 Remake is Next like as good as I expect key. it to be, the one on the right then is the high temperature that whole like this game doesn't okay, deserve a remake is probably at the First window. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, Thank you to speed a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Hey, what? Damn. Oh. Well, no, RE2 Remake didn't do that. RE... RE... That sound effect. This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> oh. Snake, you've got to get that key. No, I'm, I mean remaking games that people don't think deserve a remake, or like that that just came out a few years ago and are still have good graphics and gameplay and stuff. RE2, use it, you said RE, or let's just use RE2 for example for this topic. That's the opposite of what I'm talking about. Like our Resident Evil 2 original was like, for like 10 years plus, was a game people would look at, myself included, and be like, this is the exact kind of game that, if RE2 got a remake, Hypothetically speaking, if RE2 got a remake, all they would have to do to that game to make it really fucking good to make a modern like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 game is literally just improve the graphics and the gameplay. And they did that and more, but like it's such a good base game that just hasn't aged well with the door loads, the fixed camera, the graphics, the voice acting, yada yada yada. Some of the voice acting. Most of it's fine. but. Um, yeah, RE2 is like perfect example of like this need- like Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve is another game. It has no voice acting, the graphics are garbage, the gameplay is dated, but what- but what is actually there in Parasite Eve? The actual game, the story, the pacing, getting from point A to point B, like all the beats to the game. All they have to do is- is just improve the graphics, put voice actors that are- are well chosen in there, and you got yourself a fucking god tier modern game. Stuff like that. But then you take something like RE4, it's like... It's like... It has a chance to just literally feel like you're playing RE4 with better graphics, which is not what you want. That's more so a remaster. When you're remaking something, you want it to feel like a fresh experience. But keep, keep everything people adored about the original, obviously. And improve the things that are bad. They are definitely adjusting the tone in RE4. They are clearly making it a horror game. As opposed to an action game. But keeping all the action there. Just trying to make it scary. Which I'm down like a clown. Oh fuck.
Ugh. Wait. Bomb. Thank you, Razif. I forgot how the bomb worked. And I was looking for it in my inventory, like, uh... Okay, you're an asshole. It was? Okay, I missed it. Hey, we got it. What? Why was it there? Usually a rat has it and you have to kill the rat. Or, well, we just got good luck. But yeah. Sorry, that's like one of the biggest parts of the speedrun. It's like, where's the rat? Or is it just there? I forgot that it can just be there. I thought you always had to kill the rat. Zong. Second. One second, zongers. Oh, it's RNG. Unless people have figured it out. But in back when I speed ran the game, um, it was a reset point. What was that noise? What was that noise? Now you can manip the key? Oh, cool. Okay. That's cool. Mr. Bach, please do streams in the day. All right, done. Oh yeah, we were talking about this earlier. My schedule. Number two, freeze the key. Um, guys, this schedule is. Everyone's like, "Oh, it's it's. This is in. Fuck, where's the EU streams? And then you have someone being like, "Finally, an EU stream. I'm streaming at. I'm starting my stream at 8 a.m. for EU, and I'll also be live at 8 a.m. for NA. All, all, all states. So, it's the perfect schedule." A lot of people also are like, oh, the, no, 8 a.m., that's, that's bad. That's not, that's anti-EU and anti-NA. No, most people watch at work. Mm. Put a one in chat if you're at work. Well, maybe you won't be because it's Christmas holiday still, but... That's a lot of ones. Oh yeah, even if you're working from home. Even if you're working from home. Look at Snake go. Look at the little dainty run.
Yeah, I try my best to fit everyone's schedule, guys, but it's hard. And also, I don't like the nighttime schedule because it ruins my life. Because, like, I get off, I stop streaming and it's like, alright, everywhere's closed, it's pitch black outside. Can't order food, can't go anywhere, every one of my friends is asleep. This just sucks. Just stream more forehead. Alright, we need to cool the key down. We need to cool the key down. snake. why I really enjoy playing Metal Gear Solid in December. Well, there must have been at least one Metal Gear game I got for Christmas or something. And, the, and it's snowy, yeah. Got some snowy areas. Thank you, Tietja. I was actually th thinking about doing a Donkey Kong Country Marathon, because I can p beat them all in one day. If there was any game I speed ran before I was a speedrunner, it was Donkey Kong Country. I used to play those games all the time, just beat them in like an hour. Or like two hours or whatever. Beat them in a non-speedrun time, but semi-fast. Donkey Kong okay. December, yeah. There goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Ring, ring. Um. But yeah, unlike this Battle Game Marathon, I could do all those games in one single day. Thank you, Anshura and Mr. Dave and Toronto. Tietja, thank you again.
Um, I don't know if there's a randomizer. What would be randomized? Can you get the birds out of the air? Got him! Oh, he actually aims at them. Snake! God, he loves killing. Can't stop the man. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Again, huh? You should talk to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the past. Thank you, Lord Dookie. Yeah. He's the one who I told know. me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called uh -oh. Fox Die? No. Fox Die. <laughs> no. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. No. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it. But she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Trust the Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Oh, I love the Master, yeah. What place has the best fried chicken? Churches always makes me sick. Mary Brown's is decent. Popeyes? I've never had it. I gotta try Popeyes one day. Took a fried chicken and pizza hut. My name is Block Soup. That's right. 
Sort of. Ah! Is there people here? Oh. Bruh! I just want to hang out here. What? Beep, 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 boop, boop. Make loves killing. Return to your position. Alright. Please don't die here. Poof! <laughs> that part's so sketchy. <laughs> Turn to your position. It is, yeah. It is, it is. Metal Gear Poggy Woggies. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be playing Metal Gear Solid 2, and then the next day I'll be playing. Well, Metal Gear Solid 2 might take me a couple streams, maybe. Pretty long. We got a call, we got a call. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't yeah, know my real I'll name or even what awesome. my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. 
I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. Tempest Christ Jr. He dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. I forgot that this game protected me. doesn't ignore that Metal connection. Gear 1 and 2 on NES exist. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. Oh, how did he get the name Deep Throat? And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. Uh -huh. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? Snake is so you smart. You program that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No. 
Thank you, Kachow. Uh, Thank you, Eyes. The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? Uh, uh, snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? The bastard. Poor Snake. Such a tragic character. Thank you, Ranger. It's just me. I wish him and Arkan made love instead. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Please, Nick, don't give up. That's crazy. Detonation Master. code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA Who's chief's Who's behind code. those glasses? Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. 
Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you Fox had died. this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Like a fiddle. Where the hell are you? Mm -hmm. In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the yeah, who is this guy? The power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll uh -huh. tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. Oh, He's shit. Been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Take off those glasses. Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. Oh. What? Liquid. How the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Now this is a bigger reveal than Wesker in RU1. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? Mm. I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. That was scary. That part, I forgot to point that out. That part's scary. Did you like my sunglasses? Liquid snake. Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation. Program. But no one knows how or why. 
I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus you, were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In or any case, car. if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done oh. so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of yeah, love. Yeah, we know. We all know. Love? It's hate! He always <laughs> told me I was inferior. Oh my god. And now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You it's hate! A chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will actors. surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah. Yeah. Snake! Your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon! Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother! Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. Thank you, Dap. It's moving. But it's here too. How do I stop it? A wiener laser. No call? Oh wait. Oops, I...
best part of the game right here. Best part of the game. certainly does. Pretending like he knows. We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it. Imagine from getting a final present from someone named Deep Throat. Love, love this song. I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But this is no good. I can't do it. It will finally end. Anyone 
Not even yourself! Die! Loves his gnas. Oof. <laughs> Destroy Metal Gear Rex. Thank you, Gold. Liquid. You're still Sleeping alive. Sleeping lit as usual. I won't die. Oh, God. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this Thank weapon you, Night and Slayer. get our billion oh. dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason yeah. enough for Creepy. warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. Mm -hmm. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> <laughs> no excuse, I watched this snake. your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. 
there's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Uh-oh. He doesn't know the video game. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us for Yeah, the totally. With Thank you, Holtz. Of 20th century analog Thank you, Mark. And the super baby method. Super baby, baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. <laughs> the other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in like murder that show, Mega before Babies. the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. There goes this hairline. You took everything from me before I was even born. But... You and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. Digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything Look at from that stock strategic footage. thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Or is it a Those FMV made perfectly for the game? Into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome this is them making the genome soldiers. Are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices. Human experiments. <laughs> okay. 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. Everyone knows that. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, oh, then wow. chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They too are our brothers. You know what's great about this? This is this is sort of so a the war game. Soldiers mean that the experiment Except it's not the most fucking redundant basic success? pile of shit Don't like most fool. of them are. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Question Nature mark. tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Thank signs you, lizard boy. Symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. 
You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? <laughs> God. You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. The exposition in this game is and then I'm hilarious going to go sometimes. Beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. And he's gonna steal my jeans? Look behind you! Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future, and even if we did, it Thank wouldn't you, Millennium be Falcon. Ours. You and I. Are I don't know if I can get this father, this trick for this fight. Let go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No, it seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a PDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel Campbell. Oh, here we go. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Raccoon City Don't all over worry, again. Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. You they forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, uh, what happened to the colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Uh -oh. The colonel! Roy Campbell oh, has no. been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Yeah, it looks, it looks like Lincoln. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There you won't bastard. be a speck of They say bastard left. a lot in this game. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. 
Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. <laughs> the most the basic thing you can think of in like 10 seconds. Everyone. Donald, the DARPA Like they were in the middle of an interview. Dead. Like, ah, so you didn't thought of something to kill as quick as possible. After all. Terrorist did it. My friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death. I'll try the trick, but to me what is it's right very, wrong. very, very, very precise. So. I don't really remember how to do that. Sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one. I just forgot how to do the intro to it. Love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. How about you, snake? Is it two flips? I thought it was no flips. I thought you had to wait for him to move. Move! What's wrong, snake? Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. My, my brain. I have to... I have to look at my controller. Nice shot. I have no clue why the debug menu is popping up. I need to get him in, like, deep in a corner. Got a little bit of it. Meryl? Meryl! Oh no! Meryl! Holy shit, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot how huge that was. Forgive me. Damn. I gave in to my fear. I gave in to my pain. I sold your life to save my own. Okay, that's a bit much. I'm a loser. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm not the hero you thought I was. I'm nothing. Bald snake, a loser. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Meryl can't forgive anyone anymore. Otacon. She's gone, Snake. Now I get the true love interest. Because of me. I guess blaming yourself makes it easier, huh? If you do that, you can keep the pain at a nice, safe distance. What the hell do you know? Meryl's dead. I lost. So, are you gonna stay here and die? Along with her? Snake. People die. But death is not the I'm sorry, guys. That's what Hemingway said. I lost Wolf, too. But that wasn't defeat. She and I will be together forever. We didn't lose anything. Touch him, touch him. Together forever. He needs your touch. It's true that Wolf is dead. But our love didn't die with her. Life's more than just a game of win or lose. Don't you think? There it is. Snake. There's a parking garage right next to Oh, that's where we're going to We can get to the surface from there. Oh. Come on. I released all the security locks. It'll be okay. We can escape. You have my word on it. Otacon. In the changed. remake? Oh. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Foreshadowing. In the remake, Otacon and Snake Stop. end up together. Those guys. Seems like they only hurry when they're destroying things. Good. Let them destroy it. They can't destroy the human spirit. Okay. Let's go. Meryl. I hope you're still watching me. Maybe I can prove myself to you after all. Come on. Hustle. Hustle, Otacon. It's cold outside. You'll freeze like that. My nano machines. My sneaking suit. Oh, I forgot. You better that. hurry. <laughs> hurry. The sneaking suit. Now you look like yourself again. I I love the final escape song. It's so good. Nick. Hurry! What the? Only one? Bruh. I'll drive. Destroyed here. This song's so fucking good. Let's go! Snake! Here they come! 
You ran through the wall. They're, they're all going through the wall. Liquid. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Liquid. This game is iconic. Oh my god, this is so much harder not in first person. GG. Yeah, we're getting best end. Yeah, sleepy nose. Best ending. Yeah, if you guys are just gonna do this as best ending. Otacon. Are you okay? I guess so. Otacon, can you move? Uh, uh, it's <sighs> not close. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I don't know, but I hope he's dead. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! <laughs> Uh-oh. Our leggies. love how passionate Metal Gear Solid fans are for a good reason too and I'm, I'm also a huge fan I just try not to try not to be annoying by repeating every line if he's dead that means don't think about it snake but I've beaten the, I've finished this game like you know I used to speed run it so what happened to the air raid no stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Oh. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Ooh. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. Hell yeah. See. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. 
I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. The danger's over, guys. Colonel, about Meryl. I already know. Colonel? Meryl was my daughter. Oh! <laughs> I didn't find out until recently. I got a letter from her mother, my dead brother's wife. I was going to tell her after this operation was over. Colonel, I... It's okay, Snake. Thanks anyway. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a He's Colonel. retired. <laughs> How many times he has oh, to tell right. you? I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. <laughs> okay, Roy. Fox Island. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. Thank God Mei Ling's going to be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Kodak to Kodak. Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I'll play it one day again. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me. Hell no lies world. to the liar. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. You got a few what more games mean? left, buddy. Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. Well, it depends how Metal Gear Solid 2 sells. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable. Immutable. I'm pretty. Didn't Kojima say Metal Gear Solid 2 is the last Metal Gear game life. when it came out? I finally realized that. Maybe he said that about all of them. I'm not sure. But I'm, I remember my brother making a big deal of it. Like, this is the last one. <laughs> I go on to get I it. To know who I was. And 3 and 4? Oh, really? He said about this one too. I thought that if I analyzed <laughs> my DNA, I could find oh, out yeah. who I was, who my parents I love were. Metal Gear Solid 3. And it's it's in I my top that, 10 favorite games ever. It's such it's such a good game. I mean, they're all they're all awesome in their own way. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The only thing I don't like about 3 is, about uh, is that it on a person's repeat playthroughs strengths. is uh, some of the codec calls are a little, a little on the longer and 
mustn't unneeded side change of fate to be ruled by your genes humans can choose the type of life they want to live snake whether or not you're in the fox die program isn't important the important thing is that you choose life and then live don't you think snake don't worry I'm going to choose life too just the storytelling in these Maybe games is a lot of exposition about to... ideas that we don't even understand You're with the exposition anyway I'm going to just live but yeah, it, it's hard, even if, as like diehard Metal Gear Solid fans, it's hard to fully comprehend every little element of the story. And it shouldn't mean you don't like the games because of it. Like, I don't, I can't tell you what Metal Gear Solid 2 is fully, of, like, you know, I get the general story of it, but like, if you were to quiz me on shit, I wouldn't be able to get the answers. Teaching each other. That's how we can change But that's fine. For me. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Here we go. Best ending. Look at oh my god. The Until today. They should be I a couple. For myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's your cap of pride, That's how ready. everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. And the music? Maybe it's written into my genes. I love this ending. Look, look at his face. I want to enjoy life. I really do. How about you, Otacon? Me? I feel like a new man. So what are you going to do? Continue your research? No, I'm finished with science. Oh, I'm interested in human psychology now. Sounds good. The whole reason I got into science in the first place was because I was no good with people. I was scared of them. I was scared of life. I thought that I could never understand them because they're so illogical. But I finally learned how to like people. I'm not afraid anymore. You and I are more alike than I thought. I'm Watch his head. I'm tired too. of always being a spectator in life. I'm ready to live. I'm going to stand on my own two feet. I'm not going to hide anymore. You're giving up your stealth camo? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. You can have it. So, this is where we say goodbye to our loves as well. <laughs> Want me to drive? <laughs> Look at that. He peeks no, over his shoulder. I'd rather do it myself. No problem. No problem. Where to, Snake? Uh, my real name is David, Otacon. Uh, I'm Hal, Dave. Oh, that's right. Hal. Hal and Dave. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh. we should take a trip to Jupiter. <laughs> so where are you going, Dave? I think it's time for me to look for a new path in life. A new path? Yeah! A new purpose. Will you find it? I'll I find know it. I'll find it. I know I'll find it. I quote that all the time. God, that's so good. That's such a good ending. And like, memes aside about them being gay together and stuff, like, it's just, the, their friendship is one of my favorites in any franchise. Like, I love Al and Dave. And that ending just makes it so much sweeter, honestly. Oh, man. That ending is so good, dude. I love it so much. Oops, I didn't even read this. Oh my god, it's D2 all over again. Except not nearly as long.
I even played damn VR missions when I was a kid. Hey, thank you, Mega Cheater, for the five dollars. Thank you. What a game, indeed. Is four great? I don't get the the four hate. Like, I, I guess people don't like it because it didn't take the story in a direction that they wanted, or the plot holes, or inconsistencies, or whatever. I loved it when I played it. I mean, the. Uh, Say what you will about yourself for whether you disagree or agree with the direction and some of the some of the inconsistencies, I guess. But like, it's still a fucking great game. I wish we'd get a, a four. Like, I wish we'd get a Metal Gear Solid. Man, in my opinion, this isn't directed at anyone in particular, but I just think it's so ungrateful to hate four. I would fucking kill four. Is like the ultimate Metal Gear Solid game. I would fucking kill. For the ultimate Resident Evil game, where they have every character fitting, like every character doing exactly what the fans want them to do, all the coolest locations that fans love and enemies and everything, like I would fucking love that shit. No, RE6 was no, RE6 does not play like anyone wanted it to play. Yes, RE6 is like an example of trying sort of to do that, but here's where they failed on all aspects of fan service. They included the characters and everything else that's in the game is what fans didn't want. So yeah, if RE6 was like an actual survival horror game with good fun gameplay, it may have been like that, but yeah, I would fucking kill for like a... Imagine a Metal Gear Solid 4 of Resident Evil Outbreak, where it has every single little location. It has the school, the RPD station, the zoo, the, the laboratory, fuck it, the streets, multiple parts of the streets of Raccoon City, every single character in the entire franchise is playable. Like, give me a fans... I would love an uh, insane fan service up the ass game for Resident Evil. Holy shit, dude. Like, give me that shit. But I, I get, like, I think a lot of people probably hate 4 just because it's, it's basically a movie. But yeah, by, by the way, I loved 4 when I played it, okay? But, but nice, thank you, Hal and Dave, for the 669. Thank you, Mascot and Saturn. Um, I don't want to ever play 4 again, though. Like, I don't plan on ever playing that again. It's just, it's honestly just too much to, for me to replay. Um. Yeah, and then 5 is the opposite of 4. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, something. Four is like all about the story, and then five is like story. Here's an unfinished sort of story. But yeah, I think people get way too passionate about this kind of thing, saying like. Saying Metal Gear Solid 4 is like, oh, it's trash, it's horrible. That says way more about you than it says about the game. Like, there is no, there is no bad mainline Resident Evil game. And by bad, I mean like a 5 out of 10, like, unfun, horrible experience that's made shittily with, you know, bad, bad script, bad graphics, bad gameplay. Like, they're all at least good. So when you say, like, a, a, a majority... Majority opinion, like, great, fantastic, almost perfect game, like RE4, 3, 2, or, sorry, uh, I mean, that fits too, but, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, 4, when you say one of those games is like, oh, it's fucking garbage, it's, it's not, it, like, you don't like it as, personally, you don't enjoy it, it's just like RE Resident Evil, I mean, 6 is not, like, but 6 is a great example for this conversation, because it is a great action game, people that love action games love 6. And then people that play Ari for the horror fucking despise it. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life and then live. Okay. I'll do it. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. 
those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. Uh -oh. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Oh! Um... Oh, hyena! Guys, I'm a hyena! Hyena! Roar! I'm a hyena! I didn't get- wait, is the- can you get chicken? You can? Oh, I should have got- Oh, I gotta try and get- Maybe that'll be a, my challenge run. Try and get chicken in every game. Alright, now that we got that song played, I got a different one for you. You guys know what this song means. Did they add any more briefings since we beat the game? Yeah, we watched these at the start of the stream. I had no clue they existed until uh, today. It was fun uh, going through these. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid. So my final thoughts, I feel like um, this is a timeless game. Uh, yes, I think it deserves a remake like most people do and yes, I'm aware it already got a remake um, But people weren't happy with it and you know what it, it did get a remake But that remake Twin Snakes didn't get a remaster like Resident Evil 1 remake did got a remaster and people think Capcom's gonna re remake Resident Evil 1 remake um, Anyway, I don't think that this game is unenjoyable for a modern audience either. I think it is aged fine for the most part. Yes, the story, compared to most modern games, the story can be quite intense with all the exposition and all the politics. And there's a lot of big words used in this game too that people just might, especially non-native English speakers might play and be like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like I know, I can't understand one word of this last paragraph. But overall, like, I don't think you need to fully grasp the story to enjoy this game. I think there's a lot of stuff to enjoy. But when they talk about, like, human emotion and love and just friendship between the characters and, and the relationships between the characters, that's something I can connect on easily because I understand human emotion a lot better than politics. And when they bring up that topic, that resonates with me a lot better than the political stuff. And there, there's, just, there's many aspects beyond the political spectrum of this game. And that can be enjoyed and the gameplay I still find is very fun as well like yeah it's it's definitely dated but overall like the voice acting is great the story is fine and it's a classic that I think most people should play because um yeah I mean this is one of the most influential games ever